What's going on, bros? Welcome back. Episode 108 here, hitting shoulders, biceps and triceps, starting off the workout with behind the neck barbell press. After this workout, went on to standing barbell curl. Have gone down to 95 pounds on that, keeping strict motion still, not doing anything fancy on that, just going until failure, until I can't go no more. After the standing barbell curl, went to behind the head pulley French press, and I supersetted that with the standing barbell curl, and then the last two workouts were dumbbell incline curl, and I supersetted that, or excuse me, I directly after I did close grip tricep bench press. Now, today's topic, and this is going to be a very interesting one, one that I have um, not studied a lot throughout my lifting career, but something that I, I have always kept in mind, and that is what kind of physique I'm trying to build. And I titled this video, How to Build a Classic Looking Physique. And obviously I'm not going to get to everything, but I am going to touch on basically just the simple steps, the ones that you should definitely know in order to put you on the right path to building a classic physique. This video is only 12 and a half minutes long. There's no way in hell I can get to every single thing, every single step it takes to build a classic physique in that time. But again, I will go over the uh, simple parts to it. Now, number one, you need to prioritize certain muscle groups, certain body parts over other body parts. The first muscle you should prioritize is going to be your upper chest. And not just the thickness of it, but the width. You want to build a wide upper chest. Now, how do we do this? We do wide grip, flat barbell bench press, 30 degree incline dumbbell bench press, weighted dips, getting some depth when we do our weighted dips, really stretching the chest out. You can do dumbbell flies too, chest flies. I don't have that equipment in my gym, so I haven't done those in quite some time, but if you're at a gym, you can definitely do those and get a great, great pump in. And it also works the width of your chest. So why do we want to work this? Well, again, it makes you appear wide. And if you're at a low enough body fat percentage, you'll have a thin waist. And if you train midsection, but I will get to midsection in a few moments, if you train midsection, you're going to have that V shape. Everyone calls it the V shape, right? Small waist, and then it goes up to a V into your wide shoulders or whatever. But again, the shoulders, everyone mistakes this part. They think to get wide, they have to train shoulders a lot. And that's not the case. For me, to become wide, as wide as I am now, I had to work on my upper chest a lot and my upper back. So what targets the upper back? I already went over what targets the upper chest. The upper back is going to be pull-ups, wide grip, lat pull-downs, okay? Wide grip as well on those. Behind the head lat pull-downs, wide grip. And even any row movements, okay? Row movements are usually going to build the thickness of the back. But when I do dumbbell rows, my back just feels complete. So for thickness, do any type of row movement. For width, basically any lat pull-down, pull-up movement with a wide grip. That's what targets the back. Another workout that I did for the back that I do believe helped out a lot were dumbbell pullovers, breathing pullovers, 
took a deep breath on the way down, exhaled on the way up. Usually only did one set of 20 reps, never more than that, and it was always at the end of a workout. And I do think that made me a little wider. I did it for quite a while, so I do think it worked. And I'm not saying to ignore your shoulders. I do think you should still work them. So workouts that build the shoulders, obviously you have the one I was just doing behind the head, uh, military press, whatever you want to call it. You have uh, rear delt flies. Okay. You have upright rows, barbell upright rows. And these are basically all you really need to build your shoulder. You can do seated dumbbell press. I'm not really a fan of in front of the head barbell press. Hurts my back a lot. It just does not feel natural at all to me. Much prefer the behind the neck variation. And my body has always reacted better to upper chest workouts, upper back workouts. I can do shoulders once a month, okay? And I'll still look very wide, right? I won't lose that width to my body. But you might be different, okay? Depending on your starting point, where you're at, how your body reacts to what you're doing, the food you're eating, of course, the sleep you're getting, all this stuff plays a a role in it as well. So you got to do the testing yourself, right? You got to get into the gym. You got to start doing all this stuff and you have to see what works out. I will tell you right now, if you want a classic looking physique, a wide physique, again, that's small waist, wide upper body, shoulders, chest, back. You should not be working your traps out. Now you're probably like, dude, What the hell are you talking about? But hear me out here. The more you work your traps, the more narrow your body is going to appear. Because then your neck and your traps, right? The traps are right on the outside of your neck. When they get built up enough, and even more than enough, in my opinion, they start to look like they are closer to your ears, to your head which gives your body a narrower look. And I think that I have built up my traps actually a lot over the past. And that's because I used to do a lot of clean movements, a lot of Olympic barbell movements, explosive sets. And I I did that training for baseball, right? Because training for sport is a lot different than bodybuilding. I did that for a couple years for baseball, clean movements, and it built up my traps quite a lot. If I hadn't ever done that, I don't think my traps would be the size that they are today. And I'm not trying to say I have huge traps. I just think they're built up a little bit. But I do think I'd look a lot wider if I never did that. Do I regret it? Not really. It made me a better baseball player. But I have not touched my traps in couple years when it comes to training. All right. Now the midsection, I did say I was going to get to this in today's video. Crunches, weighted crunches, Roman chair sit-ups, all that stuff is great. When you start putting the obliques into the equation here, that's where we kind of get into muddy waters. Okay. Don't work your obliques. If you want to have that V-shape, the wide shoulders, skinny waist, this also gives your body a more narrow appearance because it builds up the side of your abs, the obliques, of course, and you just look more narrow, right? You want to have that V-shape, and a lot of guys get hung up on, oh, then I won't have shredded obliques, and honestly, do you even want shredded obliques? I know we're in this craze of roided up bodybuilders now who have like 0%, not 0%, but 5-6% body fat on all their body parts. 
and it looks crazy, right? It's unattainable. But look at 1940s, 1950s bodybuilders. None of them had chiseled obliques. Most of them didn't even have chiseled abs, right? They just had decent looking midsections, like strong looking midsections with a good amount of fat on them, the right amount of fat. And it looks more natural. It looks like that's how we should look. That's what you should be going for when you want to build a classic physique. Forget the obliques, forget the traps, right? And the shoulders, in my experience, they could take a back seat. Because then my arms look even bigger when the shoulders aren't up to par. You have to think about these things. And I haven't, I'm not making this stuff up, right? This isn't what I found out. This, I got this from Steve Reeves' book. Okay, if you don't know who Steve Reeves is, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, considered one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. This is all from his book. This is all from his mouth, his mind. That's one of the greatest right there. As they say, this is not something that I have made up. But yeah, guys, that is the basically the brief little blueprint I have for building a classic physique, the muscles not to work, and the muscles to work, as well as the workouts, of course. Again, upper chest, wide grip, flat barbell bench press, dumbbell incline press, 30 degree, not 45, 30 degree. And of course, weighted dips, going all the way down and going for depth, the back for width, lat pull downs behind the head, lat pull downs, wide grip pull ups, wide grip with the lat pull downs as well. Shoulders behind the neck press, whatever. And yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.